your own journey to become a sister mm. it would fascinate me to know how this came to be for you that you are yeah. here that you are a sister here and that you're giving so much out uh, to community to your fellow people here yeah. what is your story sister ah oh, um <laughs> pretty pretty ordinary really um I um, grew up in a Catholic family. I happened to go to a school that was um, run by the Sisters of St. Joseph, so I've not, I knew them all my school life. I also had some experience with a Polish order because my parents are of Polish heritage, so I used to uh, go to Polish dancing and singing and classes. Yeah. But when I was in high school, I had a sense that I was being asked to become a Josephite in something in my head mm. and at that age you know I was 14 16 you know you, you have an, a romantic idea of what it means to be a sister or a, a Josephite and that appealed to me but at the same time it didn't I, I didn't I I still wanted to have a good time and I so I decided to go out to work to live a life for a couple of years as I called it yeah. and uh, went to work and, uh, and worked in an office was, and then decided that two years after I left school I would enter and of course nobody actually believed that I would, my parents included, so they sort of sighed, uh, they, they weren't keen on me entering too because, really? well they were just you know, they thought it was a great thing, but you know, you're giving up having a family, you're giving yeah. up, you know, having a, a relationship, a, a, a certain relationship with with another. And I still had this need to do something about it, so I went yeah. and spoke with the sisters. And anyway, I entered, and that was 40 years ago. Celebrated nice. 40 years of religious life. During those years, most of them have been in schools. Mm. I was based in South Australia primary education I was involved in mostly for those most of those 40 years and four years ago I was asked um, if I would come over here to Mary McKillop Place because there was a need for somebody to oversee what was happening here so I came so that was a bit of a wrench because I love the school I was at was just just a dream to be in yeah. uh, the staff were fantastic the kids were just wonderful the parents were supportive you know, um, it was just the, probably, it was, it was really difficult to leave. But anyway, I've come and I've enjoyed the years that I've been here and it's been a great experience. I've, you know, sort of probably done things I didn't think would come across my path. How come you're so loving? How come you, you are that person? Oh, a lot comes probably from family. I think relationships that I've had throughout my life, people have been really good, you know, very supportive. And I think it's from other people that have been wise, that have helped me through the hard times. Yeah. Yeah, and the times when I haven't been so loving, mm -hmm. probably, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we all, um, you know, have various stages of our, our emotion. We express our, all of our emotions at different times, so, yeah. And I've probably been very fortunate to have um, probably good experiences. Mm. Mm. That's beautiful.